Joey. Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank all my Aloha fam for your continued love and support. I really, really appreciate you guys. And y'all know what time it is. You can tell by all these letters here. It's going to be uh, letters from your soulmate time here, okay? Um, yeah, these are all letters that I wrote over the year, uh, past year or so, um, that I had on deck in my little box over here. So I just pulled them out. And I'm going to do a little sum like this and pick a, pick a letter for you guys for each pile. We're going to have three groups, okay? So, yeah. So, yeah, you guys. These are pretty cool. I have these letters. I have stamps on from different countries. Like, here we got South Africa. Here we got the Philippines. Here we got Guyana. We got Australia in the building. What else we got here? I don't know what that is. <laughs> we got, what is it? Empire Centra, Centra, Cent what the hell? <laughs> Whatever, we're gonna skip that way. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna skip it. But yeah, y'all, we got United Arab Emirates. Yeah, we got a little bit of everything. So yeah, what I'm gonna do, you guys, I'm gonna just close my eyes and then I'm gonna pick a letter and that's gonna represent your group, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with picking these groups. Okay, this one's gonna be group number one. Group number two. There we go. Uh, this is the one I couldn't read is coming out. What the hell is this anyway? This is, okay, it says Berlin. Deutsch. Okay. So, yeah, this is going to be uh, number three. Okay. So, let me get these all out of the way. All right. There we go, you guys. So, again, group number one is going to be, uh, this is going to be your letter. Okay. Group number two. You guys got Burundi. What was that first one? This one is what is it? Helvetia. Where is that, you guys? Helvetia. I don't know what that is. And then number three is gonna be the Berlin one. Okay. So you guys can pick from these three letters right here, and that's gonna be your reading. Uh, Y'all know if you guys are familiar with this reading, we're gonna um, give you guys some advice as well. You know to uh, maybe help you in bringing this connection together or healing the connection so that you can move on, okay, from wherever you are towards uh, your next soulmate love uh, relationship or connection, okay? So let's go ahead and get into letter number one, okay? All right, you guys, if you guys selected letter number one, this is going to be your reading here. All right, so let's see. Go ahead and jump right on into it and see what we got for your message, okay? All right, you guys, so this one is called an ocean of love. Ooh, and the number on this letter is number 11. If that uh, is uh, that number resonates with you guys or is a significant number for you guys. OK, it says, dear lovely one, I hope you're doing well. I love the ocean. Being by the seaside is so relaxing to me. Funny thing is. While I was lying on the beach, staring into the clouds and listening to the waves crashing into the shore, I had thoughts of you. I thought of how our life will be together and all the beautiful memories we will create. A sudden peace came over me like never before. I mean, I'm always at peace when I'm near the ocean, but this peace that I felt was like I was finally whole. I felt there was something missing from my life, and that was you. Regardless of the paths our lives will take, it will always be you, you and only you, that makes me feel this way. I can't wait to share this beautiful experience with you and to create even more. Until then, my love, your soulmate. All right, so that's your letter, you guys. And let's see what 
let's see also what um messages we got here for you guys as well too we got transformation butterfly maiden okay all right so butterfly maiden says uh it talks about a transformation it says you are experiencing an enormous change right now which brings in great blessings i mean that's that's awesome i mean uh that's to me that is very uh, good news okay you guys see all the the butterfly symbology on this card you know it says that you are blossoming blooming something is uh coming to uh fruition in your life okay when it comes to attracting this soulmate connection with this person okay and bringing them into your experience okay wherever you are on your journey with uh your your next soulmate love experience okay but it said it's telling you to expect a huge change right now for you for you guys in your life when it comes to you know manifesting your soulmate person in your life okay we also got dolphin spirit you know what i i see with this letter we got this whole ocean kind of thing we got dolphins we got the ocean here as well so your person may very well well the letter says it too so for a lot of you guys i think your person is your person is going to be someone who lives by an ocean you know lives by the sea that sound like that spongebob kind of um song <laughs> why the spongebob came to my mind but um yeah it's going to be somebody who find solace with uh, the water okay or even someone if they don't live near the sea they may you know um live near a lake or some body of water okay but this dolphin spirit says to bring peace and joy to the world so this is telling you to focus on what brings peace and joy to the world first and foremost peace and joy within your own life you know um it's telling you to to excuse me to embody that a peaceful spirit with inside yourself okay so if there's anybody in your life right now who is not serving your highest good in that way and not bringing not creating a peaceful environment for yourself or not making the environment peace peaceful uh it's telling you to you know be very very careful with your environment at this time because you want to create that peace you want to create that harmony right you want to protect your personal space your personal you know what you allow who you allow into your personal uh space and your life and your circle you know and it's telling you to make sure that you follow your intuitive guidance. Make sure you follow your uh, your um, your higher self. Make sure you, um, God, angels, your ancestors, whatever it is that you um, resonate with, it's telling you to follow that and make sure that you stand within your inner strength. And this talks about you know cooperating with spirit, you know, or whatever it is that you resonate with to bring about this change that you need to make the most of this change once it's happening you know while it's happening and to be able to fully benefit from this restart because the dolphin spirit also talks about a restart right and we got transformation that is a a restart things are changing for you okay and it's telling you to go with the flow and go with Take the high road in this in this situation because you're gonna want to make sure that you are raising elevating your, your your vibrations and you're not letting anybody uh dim your light you're not letting anybody put uh, bring their negativity or negative vibes and negative negative energy into your situation at this time because you're headed for something beautiful you know whether that is a a physical change on the outside or whether it's a physical like a change internally you're heading for something beautiful so yeah you're heading for more peace more harmony you know uh protection you know you protecting yourself and also uh protection from higher power as well okay and this new restart is going to allow you to to be in a more a more playful energy so if you guys are have been you know things have been kind of like hectic or really serious for you guys or stressful you know this is uh bringing in a lot of playful you know, lighthearted energy as well, you know? So it's time for you to, you know, 
let your hair down and, and, you know, and take it easy and have some fun. Have some good, you know, positive fun, you know. You got turkey spirit here. All right. Okay. And this card says, bring harmony and balance back into your life. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow, yo. Uh, I didn't even look at these cards. When I shuffled the cards, I didn't even look at them. I just put two, two. I just aimed for two for each pile. And these two came out for you. So definitely it's talking about balance coming back into your life. So I'm feeling a very, very, very strong energy, you know, uh, when it comes to things shifting in your life in a positive way, you know, uh, more balance and harmony, peace coming into your life, uh, even abundance. OK, um, it tells you to also to be grounded because this also symbolizes a connection to Gaia, you know. Uh, Mother Earth, Earth blessings, you know, it talks about you receiving nourishment. OK, this is nourishment, um, spiritual nourishment, um, energetic nourishment, uh, even, um, you know, uh, nourishment with the foods that you eat. You know, you're going to want to watch that as well, too. You're going to want to make sure that whatever you're intaking, this is uh, whether it is physical by the way of food and drink. You know, drugs, alcohol, all that stuff. Make sure that you are you are cognizant about what you are uh, letting into your uh, body, mind, and soul at this time. Okay, and uh, this is also, like I said before, this has to do with people as well, environments as well. It could even be the music that you listen to. It, it, it could also be uh, movies that you watch, TV programs that you watch. Uh, Watching the news, if it's if it's negative, you know, uh, allowing yourself to be affected by that. So you have to be careful with that. You know, you want to you want to go with whatever is peaceful, whatever is harmonious and brings in harmony and, and is lighthearted, is playful. You know, it's whatever follows a light, you know, and allows you to to uh, bask in that energy, you know. And it also talks about the turkey spirit also talks about, you know, um, you also like it's not only about what you allow into your experience or who you allow into your experience is about what you bring to other people as well. What you bring to others, because it is also symbolizes community. So it's like, OK, what mark are you making on the, the world, on the earth, you know? What mark are you making within your community, you know, or uh, or your circle, your immediate circle, you know, uh, your peers It could be your co-workers. It could be uh, your classmates, you know, uh, it could be anything, you know, uh, your neighbors, anything like that. Like what mark are you making? What energies are you sending out into the universe? What energy are you sending towards other people? You know, how do people see you? What are you giving? You know, and it talks about. You receiving, you know, you tapping into that power and you receiving um, um, satisfaction from opening up and sharing with people and being generous and allowing people to be generous with you. You know, having that 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 flow, you know, to where you give and then you receive, you know, uh, just letting that energy circulate is what I'm getting. Letting it letting the good vibe circulate, you know, focusing on the good. Focusing on what is positive and, you know, not allowing yourself, not focusing on chaos, um, negativity, none of that stuff. Just focusing on positivity and and uh, welcoming that change into your life. OK, and that is going to help you um, guide you towards your next love soulmate. OK, so that's what I got for you guys for uh, letter number one. OK. Uh, if you guys like the video, like it, uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'm going to try to do these more often, you know, since especially since I have a stash of letters, I'm going to have to, you know, I don't even have to channel anything right now because they're already ready to go. You know, I'm still going to channel some from time to time. But yeah, I still have a lot. I have, uh, I'm just going to read those in the box, too. You know, in the meantime, in between time. But yeah, you guys wish you guys lots of love and light and. Good luck on the on your next love soulmate connection, okay? Take care. Ciao. All right, you guys, if you selected letter number two, this one right here, 
Okay, this is going to be your letter. We got your car HP pulled here as well from your advice. So let's go ahead and jump into the letter and see what we got going on here for you guys. All right, your letter is number 19, all right? If the number resonates with you or means something with you, the number is 19. And your letter is entitled uh, Forever Love, okay? It says, my soulmate, our love is one that, that stood the test of time through many lifetimes. We've gone through many trials and obstacles to be together and to continue reuniting through more lifetimes. Our love is one that's built to last through it all. Through every new meeting, it has rekindled and strengthened, becoming even stronger. I'm happy to have had so many wonderful experiences and lessons with you. I'm also looking forward to having many more. I'm truly blessed to have such a loving partner through it all. It makes me happy to know that our love story is never ending. I know that wherever you are, in whatever time, I will find you and the story will continue on forever and ever. I truly adore you, your soulmate. All right, that's your letter, you guys. So let's go ahead and see what uh, what you need to hear at this time also for advice, you know, into uh, bringing this connection into uh, into fruition, you know, bringing y'all together. Let's see what we got. First card we got is White Tara talks about sensitivity. All right, so this card says, you are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. So I feel that this is talking about self-care, you know? It's giving me a whole uh, a self-care vibe, okay? I'm feeling that very, very, very strong for somebody that you need to take care of yourself. You need to, you need to be the star of your show right now. You need to focus, buckle down, take yourself seriously, take your uh, progress an evolution take your um you know your spiritual life your spiritual health your mental health your physical health take those things very seriously at this time okay because you guys are also you this people in this group you know you may be impasse as well so you may be able to pick up uh, on people's energy you may be able to pick up on vibes all that stuff and i'm an impact too so i know that you know, you have to also protect yourself, okay? Uh, us in past, we have to work at doing whatever we can to um, offload the uh, energy that we receive from other people that we pick up throughout the day, you know? Uh, we have to do whatever we need to do to protect ourselves so that we aren't uh, lost in other people's energies, you know? Lost in other... and. When I'm talking about energy, I mean good energy and bad energy also, you know, sometimes, you know, it's it's when you're an empath, sometimes it, it, it is hard for you to different uh, differentiate the two, right? Differentiate yours from other people's, you know, so it's like sometimes you might even feel sad. You're like, well, what the hell am I feeling sad about? Or you may feel angry or irritable. You're like, what the hell am I feeling this way for? Like, I have nothing to feel this way for. Like, what the hell is going on? It's like you could very well be picking up um energy and vibes from other people you know so you're going to want to make sure that you take care of yourself okay um and also being that you guys are uh, becoming in more increasingly increasingly sensitive you want to make sure that you avoid um anything that is not healthy for you any relationship or connection that is toxic or dysfunctional you know you need to you need to send out the vibe and the message that you are valuable too, okay? That you matter too, that you count too, that you know you're an important person too, you know? And that your safety, your well being, your happiness, all that stuff matters too, you know? And also, is um, like the card said, also, it's like, um, just watch the situations that you uh, uh, put yourself in. Don't let any people bait you. I feel that you might come across uh, somebody in this group might come across somebody who 
or you may even come across more than one person who tries to bait you into uh, negativity, bait you into negative conversations to debates. You know, uh, this is time wasting stuff, right? This is this is uh, like I'm, I'm feeling energy vampire type vibes. You know, people who try to trigger you, people who try to push that button, you know, push it and then get you to react so they could you know, siphon off your energy. You know, I know for some people that sounds crazy, but it happens, you know? Uh, some people get off on that. Some people, they feel good. They literally feel good with getting people to react to the negative way, getting people to blow up, getting people to um, to yell, scream, uh, curse, um, or to see you uncomfortable, you know? There's some people that are out there like that. And you, and that's why I say you need to protect yourself at all times. Um, I'm not saying shut every, everybody out, no. I'm just saying like, you know, protect yourself. Because some, sometimes dealing with a lot of energies from people, especially psychic vampires and stuff like that, people who, you know, drain, who people are just here to drain your energy, you're gonna wanna make sure that you know how to disconnect you know that you find a way you know you can google different uh methods you can look on youtube for different methods you know but you well, you, you want to make sure that you are in a position uh to where you're able to disconnect you know so that you could you know offload that energy that is coming in or that will be coming in because I, I feel like you know some of you guys you might not have you might not have, uh, your empathic powers might not have been uh, that pronounced, you know? You might not have been able to feel it before, but now it might be happening for you a lot more, you know? So it's like, you wanna, you're wanna, gonna wanna prepare yourself and you're gonna wanna protect yourself as well, okay? So next card we got is Panther Spirit, all right? All right, so Panther Spirit says, understand the power of the shadows okay so this is all tying in together it's it's saying that you know it's talking about protection also like you protecting yourself and there's a real there's a strong vibe within this group because panther spirit talks about astral travel as well talks about um you know uh dream work or i'm feeling like an increased intuition you know clairvoyant this is like this is still tapping into that empathic power as well you know um it's, it's talking about being receptive to uh spiritual energies uh being very very highly highly receptive to those you know so but the panther spirit the good thing about the panther spirit also is that it brings you awareness as well you know it brings you sight and darkness so if somebody's not good for you, you're going to be able to see it, you know? You're going to be able to see it so you can X them out of your situation, you know? Uh, if someone is plotting something, you're going to be able to see it, you know? They're not going to be able to hide anything from you because your, your intuition is going to be on point, you know? So allow yourself to trust your intuition as well, you know? Don't... I know sometimes, you know... Our intuition speaks to us and it, 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 just, it doesn't make any sense at the time. You're like, what the hell? Like, why should I believe that? Because what I'm saying is something different. But what you're telling me is something completely opposite, you know? Uh, but you're being advised to trust your intuition and use your intuition in a way that protects yourself, protects your, your well-being, your environment, and... Be pretty stern when it comes to people who are invasive, intrusive, you know, in your personal space in a negative way. You know, some people just want to get in your spot and look at all this green. I feel that I feel that also this is like you becoming more grounded, you becoming more connected to the earth as well, you know, and I feel with you grounding as well, it is also bringing in um uh you're able to manifest things uh, more easily easily too you know um i see also you growing like something growing i feel like your spiritual powers or your your psychic powers you know if you guys are open to that or if you believe in that because i know some people don't believe in it but whatever do you boo but you know your psychic powers 
and um, this is telling you to step up and reclaim your power because you are stronger than you realize than you may realize right now or you're stronger than society has society wants you to think or believe you know when i say society i mean like people who may have negatively affected you in your life you know people outsiders who may have negatively affected you in your life you know and may have caused you to think that you weren't as strong as you are caused you to think that maybe that you don't have any power or that you don't have any say so that you can't do anything in your life to change anything or to uh, manifest what you want to manifest in your life you can't take any actions you can't do anything you know but it's just saying that it's time for you to to reclaim your power because you are strong you know you're strong and it, it it's it talks about understanding the cycles of life as well knowing that things nothing stays the same you know so if you guys have been in in a bad situation or you've not been uh, standing up for yourself. If you've not been in, a, if you've not been in a position of power, know that that's not going to stay the same all the time. You're going to be in a position of power, and you're going to be in a more uh, secure space for yourself. Okay. Uh, let's see. What we got we got duck spirit here too for you guys. All right. So duck spirit says, glide across the waters with confidence and ease. So this is telling you to go with the flow, you know, don't deny any of these energies or don't deny any of this, this uh, transformation or this, these changes that are coming into your life because they're positive changes that are there to help you in the long run. Okay. That are there to help you reclaim your power, your personal power. Okay. They're there to, it's there to to help you take your power back from people who may have taken it from you, you know, uh, with different situations that may have happened in your life. This talks about uh, the duck spirit also is, is telling you, talking about like lessons, you know, the lessons that life brings. And it tells you to, you know, to to wake up to a lesson that you may have been going through or that may have been. Um, uh, repeating in your life, you know, and it may have to do with confidence. It may have to do with, you know, uh, speaking your truth, you know, um, speaking your, uh, letting your voice be heard, you know, standing out, not like blending in with the crowd, but like, you know, being your own person and, you know, standing in your own truth and not being ashamed of that as well. Okay. So this talks about a wake up call and you standing in your your confidence and talks telling talking also about uh, self protection you ex, you protecting yourself while you explore life you know while while you find your place in this life you know because I feel that some of you guys are still trying to find yourself you know you're still trying to find your place in the world trying to find where you fit in or you know. Uh, what you should be doing but I feel that all that stuff is within you you know once you tap into your power it is gonna be it's gonna be known you know it's just gonna you're gonna know it you know I feel that it's gonna be like a, a revelation like it's gonna be like a aha moment for some of you guys when you tap into your power when you reclaim that power you're gonna know you're gonna know that you have and I feel for a lot of you guys you're gonna know that you have your own lane. You don't have to fit in anybody, anybody else's lane, you know? You got your own lane. You do your own thing. You march to the beat of your own drum, you know? And at the same time, I'm hearing for some people, don't feel that you have to prove anything to anybody. You know, some battles aren't meant to be fought because it's like, you know who you are, right? And if you don't know who you are, you will be knowing who you are. And once you know who you are, you don't have to prove yourself to anybody. If they don't see who you are, then that's their business. You continue being who you are and they'll, they will eventually see it. And if they refuse to see it, then that's their business. That's their problem, not yours, you know. But it also talks about how you interact with uh, with people as well, how you interact with community, how you interact with your friends, your family, your coworkers, your classmates. Uh, strangers on the streets is how you um, interact with people and is and is telling you to to allow to hold your head up and, and be confident you know 
to see to look into finally finally look into the mirror and see the truth see how strong you are see how how powerful you are allow yourself to 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 shine and show that confidence that's within you you know to show that power that is within you to show that you are not some you're not a pushover you know you're not a background singer it's like you you the main you the main what is it called you the lead singer you know <laughs> you're not a background you're not a do wop 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 girl or guy in the background you you taking a mic and you you you, you <laughs> You taking the lead on this one right now, you know, and it's it's your world and you do what you want to do with it because it's your own lane to do what you want to do in it. OK, and I feel that once you step into that power, it is going to allow you to. Um, to bring this uh, your next soulmate love connection um, into your experience, OK? All right, so that's what I got for you guys for this group. If you like the video, like it, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And wish you guys lots of love, peace, and happiness. Okay, take care. Ciao. All right, you guys, if you selected group number three, the third letter, okay, for Republic du Burundi. Okay, this is going to be your letter right here. Got your advice right here. I'm going to read that after we do this letter. All right, let's see what we got for you guys. All right, your number is number one. Okay, you know, y'all number one, you know. <laughs> Spirit is saying you number one. Don't let nobody change. Don't let nobody tell you different. You're number one. Not number two. You're number one. Okay, <laughs> your letter is called Thoughts of You, okay. It says, my love, you're always on my mind. Not a day goes by without me thinking of you. I think about how you complete me, how your very existence motivates me to continue on in life. I know that one day we'll be together. That knowledge alone is what fuels my day. It's what fuels me to accomplish all that I've accomplished in life. You're such a blessing to me. I wouldn't trade what we have for anything in the world. Even though we are not together physically yet, I feel you spiritually. Your essence calls out to mine and attracts me in like a moth to a flame. Nothing can keep me away from you. It's our life's mission, my soul's purpose. We're in this together. I want you to remember that always. Please know that we will be together sooner or later, hopefully sooner, because my soul longs for the day where I can be where you are physically. Love, your eternal partner. Okay, that's your letter. Okay, so let's see what uh, advice you guys have here also. Okay, we have Irene Peace, okay? Okay, so the message on this card says, there's no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. So I feel that, you know, there's really not much for you guys to uh, have. There's really not much you guys guys have to do them, if I could say. Because <laughs> some of you guys may be feeling a little restless at this time. You know, you may think that, you know, you, that you got to do something. You may think that you're not done. You think that you, maybe you're not doing the right thing or maybe you're missing out on something. But it's like uh, Spirit is saying that you guys are on path. You're on, you know, your trajectory. You're on that path to hit your target. You know, if it is bringing this new soulmate connection into your life, you're on the correct path. So allow yourself, you know, to chill out and just keep moving forward. Keep doing what, you know keep riding that wave you know because we got dolphins in the background and i feel and i'm and and it's funny that i said ride the wave and then i noticed the dolphins but it's like yeah i feel that you guys have to chill out and relax a little bit you know have that playful energy like you know with the word dolphins stand for you know like that playful energy and enjoy your life enjoy yourself let your hair down calm down a bit you know just a laugh play you know those are the, the waves that you need to be riding you know laughing playing enjoying enjoying yourself 
calming down, relaxing, and allowing yourself to just go with the flow, you know? Because I'm still getting, I'm getting this, I don't know, I'm getting this kind of vibe, like, you know, like, ride that wave and, you know, just go with the flow. Don't, don't try to, if this, if the ocean is flowing this way, like this, you know, don't try to swim against it, you know, go with it, just allow yourself, put on your floaty device, you know, get on your, get on your floating raft or whatever, and just ride it, you know, get on your surfboard, if you like the surfboard, boogie board, whatever, you know, and ride it on up out of here, you know, but it says that everything is working out for you guys, so you guys, are whatever it is that you guys have been doing, it's working, you know, so just keep doing what you're doing, don't try to pile anymore onto what you're already doing and just ride that wave to your success, okay? We got Fox Spirit. All right, and Fox Spirit says, use your intuition to quickly move through obstacles, okay? Now, the Fox Spirit, the Fox is somebody who is quick with it. You know what I'm saying? It's quick with it. Like, let's say you're walking down the streets, right? And somebody walks up to you and says, hey, group number three, you want to buy da -da 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 -da, quick on it. Fox going to be like, eh, keep it moving. Like, right? because, you know, because it may be that person might be trying to rob you or something like that. The fox ain't going to, like, think twice about it. The fo fox thinks really, really quick, uses his intuition, his or her intuition, and just does not second guess it. Uses that discernment and moves the hell on, you know, with the quickness, you know, and that's what it is telling you to do. Don't ponder too much on things. Don't think, don't overanalyze things. Don't think too much into things. Go trust your intuition at this time because your intuition, I feel for you guys, is going to be very, very on point and very powerful. All right. Very strong. You know, a one intuition, a one, you know, uh, so it is telling you to to trust it, okay? Because like I said, the fox spirit is about, you know, knowing what to do, be, having those street smarts, you know? Being crafty, you know? It also talks about dream work as well. So you guys might need to pay attention to or journal your dreams, you know, because there may be some answers uh, that could help answer some of your questions and your dreams as well, okay? But... Yeah, allow yourself to flow into this 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 uh fox spirit. Be quick with it. Quick with it. When you come up to obstacles, quick with it. Don't don't um what is it? Lollygag and hang around and contemplate and ask Susie, ask Sally, ask John, ask Bill, ask your grandmother, your grandfather. Wait another week and ask a whole another set of people. Don't do all that. Just trust your intuition and quickly make your decisions. You know. Use your common sense, your street smarts, because I feel that you guys are very, very, you know, um, crafty in a positive way, you know, very smart, you know. And so just trust yourself. You got this. So ladybug spirit. All right. Ladybug, ladybug, ladybug. Ladybug says wish upon a star, you guys. I mean, we, we, <laughs> that's what we love. We love seeing ladybugs. We. We love seeing this ladybug spirit because this talks about luck, you know? Ladybug brings in this good luck, brings in good fortune for you guys, okay? So, I feel by you going with the flow because you're headed, you guys are headed for something good, okay? I wanted to say big. For some of you guys, it's going to be something big, but I feel you guys are headed for something very, very positive. Uh, this is divine intervention. This is, you know, you guys following your intuition and spirit speaking to you guys god universe angels whatever it is that you resonate with if you don't resonate with none of those and i don't know who you're talking to but um yeah it's whoever you resonate with is you receiving that contact you receiving that communication you following it and you following it to some sort of good fortune for yourself some sort of happy change for yourself you know some sort of happy resolution for yourself uh more clarity more insight you know Having the light shine on your situation, if there's darkness, you know, if you're confused, you know, finally getting the information that you need to get, you know, allowing yourself to be like in that full like energy, you know, like the full card, allowing yourself to be in that full energy where you where where anything is possible, you know, 
where you're, you're, you're stepping out on faith and you're trusting. This group is all about trusting, okay? Because you have nothing not to trust. And like, you, you got, I feel that you guys have, you know, your spiritual, your spirit, spirit team is on deck, you know? Your spirit team is out in large numbers. They're rolling deep. They got your back. So you have to trust and you have to, you know, trust and listen and, and keep moving forward okay because you guys are headed for something good okay you ain't got nothing to worry about in this group okay chicken spirit chicken chicken okay so chicken says um celebrate your individuality and uniqueness okay so yeah this is a be yourself you know you don't have to be anybody else you don't gotta like you know um feel that you have to fit a role that does not um, really justify who you are, you know? Because with the chicken spirit also, it talks about enlightenment. Like you seeing things for what it really is, you know? Things becoming illuminated, you know? You seeing the clearer picture, you seeing things, you understanding things, like things that you didn't understand before, you're going to be understanding, right? It talks about allowing yourself to also appreciate your uniqueness and your diversity. If you are uh, someone who stands out from the crowd, appreciating that. And allowing yourself to shine and speak your own voice. You know, trusting yourself. Protecting your dreams, protecting your own you know, your goals, your aspirations, and also protecting the people, you know, you're protecting yourself and also protecting the people that love you and, you know, who you love, you know? And it talks about, you know, uh, that connection between you and your family and your friends, those people who have your back too, you know, because I feel that those core group of people are there to also uplift you and they, also your spirit family as well okay your spirit team as well everybody's there to help uplift you and help you know give you the confidence that you need in certain um areas of your life you know especially with some of you guys when it comes to trusting your intuition so to, to let you know that it's okay you know this is a good thing go and do it you know trust yourself you can make the right decisions for yourself. You don't have to ask a thousand people before you make a decision. You make confident and good decisions. You have common sense. Mind you, sense is not common. It never really was, you know, because everybody's walking around here don't have common sense, you know. But you got common sense and you're lucky for that. You're blessed, you know, that you can add one in one and, and you know that it equals two, you know. And I'm not even trying to be funny, but like, that's just how things are in life, you know? So just own up to that and know that, you know, you're a good decision maker. You got this, you know? You can make good decisions for yourself and, and know that the decisions that you make are gonna lead you to something awesome. It's gonna lead you to something good, some good fortune, okay? So that's what I got for you guys in this group. If you like the video, like it, subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this and wish you guys lots of love and peace and excitement. Where the hell did the excitement come from? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you guys are getting ready for something exciting. You know what I'm saying? Get ready for some excitement and then like it. Okay. So yeah, wish you guys all the best. Take care. Ciao.